to do is create the podcast episodes themselves. So I'm going to go into the terminal. And you know, I'm just going to I'm going to leave the server running, but I'm going to create a new tab. And then I'm going to do Braille's G model for a podcast episode. Now, podcast episode is going to have a title. It's also going to have a description. But this is going to be rich text. It's also going to have an audio file for the podcast itself. This is going to be an attachment. And, oh yeah, it's going to belong to an admin user. That's it. Admin user belongs to. So if you look, this is what we need to generate a model like this. <laughs> I'm going to press enter. Migrate the database real quick. Now it looks like there wasn't any problems, but I do know we're going to have to uh, run at Rails G action text install. Colon install. Let's install action text. Also Rails G uh, active storage install. Right. Or what do you do for active storage? <coughs> what do you call that? I don't really know what they call that. I forgot. That's okay. As long as we don't get any errors when we go to create a podcast. So anyways, now we have this, we have a podcast episode, but we don't have any pages or anything to get there. So I'm going to create a quick controller podcast episodes. We're just going to give it a new, yeah, just a new for now. You know, an index. So we do that real quick. After we did that, I'm going to go into config routes. And you can see we, since I use that Rails G controller, it created two separate routes. This is technically fine, but I don't like that. I want to clean it up. So actually, right above this, I'm going to say resources, podcast episodes. And we can just say only new and create an index. And yeah, if you don't know, new is where we're going to go to create the new episode. Create is the backend action. It doesn't have a view. And index is the page that where we're going to show all of the different podcast episodes. It's pretty simple for now. We don't really need to do anything more complicated. So you can see we don't have a folder for this yet. We can just do that now. Podcast episodes. Okay. Oh, you know, it already created one because when I did that thing. So yeah, that's fine. It already has this. It's also going to have the controller, podcast episodes controller. That's perfect. So actually what we're gonna need to do is we have a new and a create action. We wanna lock this down. So authenticate admin user. We'll just call it that. Uh, only new and create. So we're only gonna do this on new and create action. This admin authenticate admin user method itself we might as well just put this in the application controller because we're going to reuse it later. But what we're going to say is redirect to root path unless current admin user. And we can also do a little alert. You are not authorized to view this page. So we can just say that. So from here we have my podcast, whatever. I think what I'll do is I'll add a link to the index page on that home page. So we have this link to sign in, but that's only if we're a current if we're an admin user. So right underneath that we can do another BR for space. And then I'm gonna do link to view podcast episodes. 
gonna go to podcast episodes path. And I'm just gonna take this styling. So I'm gonna copy the class from this admin link. But instead of purple, we can do something different. Let's do blue. View podcast episodes. Now when we go here, uh, looks like let me find. Oh, I said before, so that's not right actually. Before action, what I meant to write. So if we go here, uh, yep, yeah, we're on the podcast index. Doesn't really look like it yet because we need to show all the podcast episodes so what we can do actually is delete this instead of podcast episodes index we can say podcast episodes so let's just call it all podcast episodes now we're going to do podcast episodes each do podcast episode and then we can do some styling in here for the podcast episode itself. <coughs> I think what I'm gonna do is just add a little card. So I can add that with some tailwind styling. Actually, so outside this loop, I'm gonna do grid, let's do four, add some gap. And then these can just be with full height 64 um, shadow. And then in here we can display the podcast title. We can also display a little bit of the description. When I refresh the page, it says that we don't have a podcast episodes variable because I didn't set that yet. We have to do that in this controller. We'll just set it equal to podcast episode dot all. Be every podcast episode that's ever created. You can actually order it from the newest by saying created at descending and order it <coughs> so that we can see the newer ones first. Now you'll see that there's no podcast episodes yet there's nothing's been uploaded so right at the top i'm actually going to add a link to new podcast episode it's going to go to new podcast episode path and we can do a little bit of styling but for this one i'm going to say um say if current admin user so it only shows up if there's admin user new podcast episode and you know I'm gonna add one of those BRs underneath the H1 yeah we can go create new podcast episode we'll get this page instead of any of this text though we want to have just a form pop up so let's go to the new page in here I can just say new podcast episode we don't really need the P. We can just have this. That's fine. Underneath, let's do a form with model podcast episode dot new. So if we do it like this, it'll already know to get the URL for the podcast episode. Um, usually, people like to clean it up though and keep anything that anything that's like rails architecture related in the controller and use a variable instead so we're going to use this instance variable podcast episode and we can go up in here and say podcast episode equals podcast episode dot new right here in the podcast episodes controller and now that we have this form i'm just going to get this real quick so we can see something let's do title f dot text field title refresh and we should see that yep we have the title field so that's perfect uh i want to make it so that the title is on top so for that we can 
I guess what we can do is we can say this is block. So the text field is block, so it'll take up 100%. That works. Let's actually add a BR underneath this header. So there's some space between the form. And now, so underneath that title, we can do BR. And now let's add the description. But instead of a text area, it's a rich text area. Perfect. So that looks great. And then the other, the last thing that we want to do is we can just copy this again. And now we're going to do the audio file. So right here, what we can do is we can say file field. And then we can put a custom accept so that we only get audio files. To do that, you do this. Put accept audio slash all. Now, yeah, you can see, so what it does is it it'll gray out so these are like disabled you can't select them it only shows the audio files although this is an mp4 movie although yeah i don't know that shouldn't show that but it's not showing the picture so i know it's working uh so this already looks good the last thing we need is a button to submit the form so let's go add another br and then we could do f.submit and we'll see what that looks like Okay, not bad. Let's add some styling real quick. So I'm gonna add this class and say, just stick with the blue theme. All right, perfect. This looks good already. So we'll just call this episode one. This podcast is awesome. And let's choose a file. I don't have any episodes right now, so I'm just going to choose this song. That's fine. Now, if we go to create an episode, it'll actually air out. Another thing, I it's not showing the click cursor. So we can fix that by saying cursor pointer. For some reason with Tailwind, it, when you do a submit button, it doesn't do that. But when we press create, it doesn't do anything right now. So that's another issue. Uh, you can see it's making a request, but it's not finding anything to do because in our controller, if we go back here in the create action, this is where it's posting to and nothing's happening. So in here, we can say podcast episode equals podcast episode dot create. And we're going to create it from the params that are getting sent. So I'm saying I'm going to pass in podcast params, which is going to be a method down at the bottom should put it in a private so that it's more secure and then we have this podcast params we can say params dot require podcast episode and then we're going to permit the different fields that we're looking for it could be title description and lastly audio file now that we've done this we're good to go it's going to create the episode but we want to do something afterwards we want to say so after we create it, we can say if at podcast episode dot save, then we can redirect to the podcast episode itself, because why not? Else we're going to render new and then we'll just hopefully have show the errors that whatever happened wrong. So now we can click. Doesn't seem like it's working, so I'm just gonna refresh real quick. Episode one. This episode is nice. Now we'll select the audio file, do a create, and let's see what happens. Uh, weird. Nothing happened. Oh right. So what happened is uh, authenticate item user. Right. But that should be fine. That shouldn't have stopped anything. So we posted here. <clears throat> so I don't get it. Did it do it or not? Let's add a binding dot remote pry. If we 
don't even have yet, so we have to add that to the gem file. Bundle add cry remote. Now when we click, it'll open up that pry. We can do it from another terminal session. Okay, so it looks like we're getting stuff. But what happens is there's some errors. This is admin user. Oh, so that's the thing we forgot. We forgot to set the admin user. That's simple. So right here when we did the podcast params, yeah, that's why. So actually, instead of these podcast episodes, we can say current admin user dot podcast episodes. Because we want to only show those for that. So that's the that was the issue that we were having. Now, the as you can see here, the user doesn't have podcast episodes right now. Because when we did that generation of the podcast episode, uh, let's just go look at that real quick and you'll see. Uh, when we did this podcast episode generation, we set all these fields, the admin user description, audio file. We said that it belongs to admin user, but it didn't know about it in the admin user. So we have to actually update it ourselves by, says, by saying has many podcast episodes. Now we're good to go. I think this should work. This is a great episode. I'm going to choose a file, click it, boom. We're good to go. The only thing now is it didn't know about a podcast URL because we didn't, we only said a, we only said we wanted a new create an index row and we didn't set a show path. But we can do that too. Now here we can add the show. We could say podcast episode equals find params ID that's perfect and then also in the podcast episodes we can add a show.html.erb in here that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy some of the styling from here the h1 and the div and we can instead of new podcast episode we could say podcast episode.title just display that like that I'm gonna go back uh, as you can see yep episode one this is a great episode so what we're seeing is that those cards let me go back to that podcast episodes index so what we're seeing is the styling for these cards they don't really stick out that well so let's add a background like a little bit of a lighter background to see okay that looks good um, so inside of here let's quickly add a link to view podcast and we can just do that podcast episode perfect so now we can click on here and go to the podcast episode I don't like how thin this is though I don't know why that came out like that I think we could have set width full on this div or maybe up on this top div top level div we need to say width full knows to use the full width there we go and then on this card we can add a little bit of padding and then we can start even moving these into different divs or whatever element you want to use but I want to do some styling to make these different texts different like this I want to make it a little bit bigger change the color and all that So anyways, now that we have this podcast episode, I want to also display the, on that show page, I want to display the body or the description is what I mean. Let's go and display that. Perfect. This is a great episode. This is what I like to hear. And we can display this. The last thing I want to add for this show page real quick is uh, the audio player. Now we're going to add a better audio player in a few episodes, but for right now we're just going to add a default player 
how we could do that is just say audio tag and then we can pass in the podcast episode audio file that should automatically set up to work okay uh no it doesn't know about that so actually we have to say uh, blob url might have to say url for that's the best way okay that's one way so now we're gonna have an audio tag uh, i don't see it showing up though that's weird i see it right here i just don't see it showing oh okay i remember we have to say control is true Oh, whoops, I'm passing it into the URL. So actually, on the outside here, controls true. There we go. Now we're showing the, the controls. Let's change the margin here. Okay, perfect. So this is just a song, but this could be your podcast that's playing. So yeah, this is looking good already. We're displaying the podcast episodes. We can create a new one. We have this clean looking form. And we can also go view a podcast episode. Now, the last thing I want to do real quick before we summarize this is add a way to sign out for admin user. Let's just do that way at the bottom real quick. So under here, I think we can render layout slash footer. We'll do a quick footer. would be always shown way at the bottom of the page and here we can have something like link to sign out say destroy admin user Perfect. That's showing up. Uh, it's showing in the wrong spot, though. It really shouldn't be there. So I think. Oh, we forgot to close off the div. That's why. Um, still showing up wrong. Weird. You know, I'm gonna add it outside of this main container thing. There we go. So that's a little bit better. Although I still don't want it to show up like this. So maybe we should add add like a default amount of margin to always push it down to the bottom just for now later we can figure out a better way to do this but anyways we click sign out okay we got an error with that so actually what we need to do is we just say data turbo method delete so it does a delete request when we go to sign out need to have the right request type so now that we did that it actually worked uh, looks like the footers I'm trying to just disable that real quick no that's not the footer so there's some styling issues that were unrelated to that on that home page it looks like these links even though we have a BR it's not showing up like a BR so that's weird instead of that we can put a grid and then a gap for around it um that's a little bit better but i think we need to do um mr auto to fix those link sizes and then also there's no space around that so let's add a br or actually, let's just add a margin top on this div that we created. That looks better. Although this P, I think it could use some spacing. So let's add a BR at the top of the P, and then there we go. I think this is looking good. So we have the sign as admin, and then we can view podcast. I think we should move the sign as admin way down to the footer. That's kind of the idea I was having. You know what we can do is we can say min height. Uh, so actually, well, no, what I mean is... Yeah, min height, uh, 100 view height. 
and that'll automatically push that footer down because on every it'll automatically be 100 view height so now we don't need the margin but what I'm gonna do is from that home page let's take the sign in as admin and let's just go into here the footer and we'll say if current admin user sign out else then we're gonna paste that sign in as admin user link and we can close this off now we're good to go we should just only display it down here so as a admin you just have to scroll down to the footer sign in real quick with your email and then when you're done being an admin you can just sign up and if you're not an admin then the only thing you can do is view the podcast and whoops this doesn't look great so i guess the show page did have some styling issues oh yeah look i forgot to do the div here so there we go so yeah as a not admin all you can do is view the podcast episodes and sign in but you wouldn't know the password so you're not going to sign in so yeah this is it for the first episode guys i just wanted to get the base uh you know like the layout of the podcast site get the admin user set up in the next episode we'll probably go in more detail we'll add in a better audio player we'll also style it up a little bit better and we'll probably add listeners too so it's not just admin users you can sign as a listener save episodes that you like and add comments and different cool things that we'll think of so if you like this video please like the video and subscribe and stay tuned for new episodes